We will calculate the electric field due to uniformly charged ring with the charge Q and radius R at the distance x from the center of the ring. We begin by considering an infinitely small element dQ and the electric field that it produces. If we place an x-axis along the line of symmetry, dE will have two components. One that is parallel to the x-axis, dEx, and one that is perpendicular to the x-axis, I will call it dEy. For each element dQ, read on our diagram, there is a diametrically opposite element with the same charge dQ, green on the diagram, that will create an electric field with an x component the same as the x component of the red element, but y component equal in magnitude and opposite in direction to the red element. After the integration, the y components will cancel and only the x components will contribute to the electric field. So we can write that the total electric field due to the ring will be simply the integral over the x components of the electric field produced by each of those infinitely small elements along the ring. dEx, the x components of those electric fields, are simply the electric field time cosine of the angle, and that angle is the same for each element along the ring. Here, for dE, we are going to use the expression for the electric field due to a point charge, that is k dQ over r squared. r is the distance from the charge to the location where we are calculating the electric field, and for our diagram, r is equal to square root of the radius of the ring squared plus x squared. Cosine theta is simply x over square root of r squared plus x squared. With those two expressions, we can actually write the integral for the electric field of the ring as k dq over r squared plus x squared, that's the electric, electric field part, and the cosine theta part is x over square root of r squared plus x squared. Or simply, the electric field will be the integral over k x dq over r squared plus x squared to the power of 3 halves. Now this integral is very easy to solve since the only variable is dq, the charge of those infinitely small elements, and after an in integration over the entire ring it will turn out to be simply q. So the electric field of a ring will be k, q, the charge of the ring, x, the distance to the point, over r squared plus x squared to the power of 3 halves, and that is the final result for the electric field due to a uniformly charged ring.